welcome back to another episode of Void City Reviews. I am Dan, and today we are going to be looking at some Leonard Toys Alien action figures. These are figures that are based on the three original Alien movies, and they came out around the same time as the Predator figures from the first wave that I showed in the previous video. These are also in the 7 inch range as far as their scale goes and they each come with an accessory as you can see some of them come with two and they also are ten dollars each just like the predator figures so for another 30 bucks you get three fairly awesome figures here that are sculpted amazingly the paint is not as detailed as the predator figures but then again i mean aliens are typically about one color only it's not like there's too much detail that needed to be painted. Anyway, these are sort of, I kind of feel like a kind of family friendly version of aliens where instead of making them all black, they kind of made them all different colors. Sort of reminds me again of action figures in the 90s for rated R movies, where for some reason we still had to make a bunch of toys for kids like Terminator and Alien and Predator and all sorts of fun things like that. Getting back to these guys. You get your alien from the first movie over here, sculpted in white plastic. He comes with a face hugger and an egg pod. You've got your alien from the second movie right here in the middle. It's from Aliens, and it comes with the tube with the preserved face hugger inside of it. Possibly dead, possibly alive, who knows? Over here, you've got your alien from Alien 3, which is the one that came out of the dog, which also unfortunately comes with the alien, poor guy, and the face hugger there on the ground for the poor doggy doesn't really fit on the dog it's the same face hugger that comes with the first alien but you know it's just so you can have each little bit of its life cycle i guess each one is sculpted in a different plastic color like i said obviously in the movies these are all basically black well for this one the first one is in white with silver details this one is blue with some green details on them and this one is an orangish bronze color. I'll call it like a metallic orange with some grayish striping detail on the head there. So each one gets its own little unique details, kind of sets it apart from each other, helps you tell which movie it's from kind of, but also you can tell that basically by the shape of its head and how it stands. Anyways, let's take a closer look at these guys, huh? Let's start with the accessory for the first alien. So you've got your pod here. And inside your alien pod, your egg pod, which is just, you know, pod. It's nice sculpt in there. That's pretty cool. Painted pretty decently, actually. You got your face hugger with all of its anatomically correct detail right out of the movie. <laughs> this thing, even as an inch tall little toy, is still nightmare inducing. This thing scared the crap out of me as a kid even more than the aliens did once they were human sized. That sits right in this egg pod there. And that brings us to this guy, sculpted in white plastic. Really brings out that sculpt there. So many details right out of the movie. Even inside there's the second little mouth in there. It doesn't move or anything like that. It's just where the hinge is for the bottom jaw. But the bottom jaw does open and close, which is awesome has the smooth head like the alien in the first movie on the top with some silver details on there which actually sort of imitates highlights that if you were to be able to see through this big visor on top of there you'd see kind of like the skull underneath and that's kind of what this looks a little bit like it's emulating but either way it still looks pretty awesome to me all the details there all the, the arms and the torso the legs Then the tail all the way down, the tubes and stuff coming out of the back, like the pumpkin head tubes basically, I don't know what to call those things. I really like this one. I like that they put it in the white plastic with the silver details. I think it looks fantastic. For Alien 2, our accessory is this guy. So it's the tube stasis pod, the preservation pod that they had the face huggers in and then I believe they let them both out on the floor so they could try to infect Newt and Ripley 
and bring them back frozen. Well, that's what this guy comes in, this little tube right here. You can pop the top off and take them out. I just leave them in there. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a nice little accessory. And here is the Xenomorph for aliens. Now this one's arms have a bit different detail. There's like this green blade looking thing on the side there because the aliens in the second movie were a bit different. That's also why the head has the different shape to it so it matches more how they looked in the second movie. There's the little mouth inside again. Its jaw opens and closes. Articulation is exactly the same for both of these guys, the first two movies. It's basically the same figure for a lot of it, just different plastic and a different head and different forearms. But otherwise, it's still pretty awesome, I think. And this one, like I said, is in a metallic blue with green detail. So this one has some green, kind of just highlight on the head there and then green on the blades, so it kind of highlights the different things about the figures. I think he looks pretty wicked. So the alien in Alien 3 is a little bit different in that it actually emerged from a face hugger that had attached itself to a dog. So unlike a human which walks upright, the alien in this movie ran on all fours and acted differently than the human bred ones that we saw in the first two movies. Because of that, the figure's a bit different, but they also wanted to give you the accessories to show off that life cycle. So here's the dog, pretty decent sculpt there. It's just a one model, it's not articulated or anything. And the bottom jaw is just kind of a piece that's glued on there. So the paint is a little bit sloppy, but you know, I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's not really the star of the show. And like the other ones, he comes with a face hugger also. Same one again. Gross. Bah, oh no. And this figure is different. So here he is. He runs on all fours, so it is a whole different setup for this figure. It's got different torso, different legs, different tail, different arms. So it's, it's kind of the only one that's a whole different sculpt from the first two, where the first two is just basically a different head and different forearms, just to kind of show next to each other again. This guy stands upright. This guy does not. So looking at him up close, he also has the jaw that opens and closes with the little guy inside there that you can see. He's got kind of the smooth head again, because that's a little bit more how he was shaped in that movie. Now the legs for this figure just kind of bend right there and that's it. It's all one piece. The arms do bend at the shoulder and at the elbow and at the hands, which is nice. So the arms are still just as articulated. It's just the, the legs in the back are just one piece. Your tail that moves, head that's on like a ball so it can move all over the place, look up, look down. But yeah, this guy is mostly just meant to be crawling around on the floor just like that and he's got the metallic orange plastic with kind of gray tiger stripes on his head that's kind of cool you know he came out of a dog he's got some tiger stripes but I think it's just because of the orange that's probably why they went with that either way I think it looks pretty nice articulation wise let's take a look at these guys real quick they're pretty close to the predators actually the first these two guys the blue and the white one the orange one doesn't have anywhere near as much articulation as these guys do, but that's kind of to be expected. We already went over that. So head moves at the neck, which is actually at the base of the neck or in the torso. So that whole neck and head is one piece. Jaw opens and closes. Shoulders go up and down and swivel. Elbows go up and down and swivel. And the wrist is just it can just rotate on a ball basically the torso actually has a swivel to it which is nice the legs are the same again just those pegs that go into the leg piece there single jointed knee and the foot also on like a ball so pretty easy and the tail moves just at the base of it right there as you can see, just like with the Predator figures, these guys can be posed in a multitude of different ways. So you can have a lot of personality to them. 
Again, the only one that is mostly limited is the alien from Alien 3, and that's just because of how he has to be positioned on the floor like that. Still a cool figure, still fits well with the other two, and I think they all three look really nice together, especially for $10 each. Well, there you have it. That was the first wave of 7-inch alien figures from Leonard Toys. You can get those at Walmart, and like I mentioned about a million times already, they are $10 each, so that's pretty awesome. Keep your eyes peeled for some new videos coming soon. They actually just came out with a second wave of Aliens and Predator figures, so I will be reviewing those very shortly. In the meantime, like and subscribe as always, and we'd like to thank you for watching and sticking with us. Still going through this whole moving shenanigans, and both of us still getting over uh, being pretty sick recently. But aside from those hardships and tribulations, we will be getting back to you with even more reviews. We've got toys stacked up and ready to go. So as soon as we can, we will be back on our regular schedule for all of our reviews. And also keep your eyes peeled, there's going to be some custom videos coming pretty soon again. Until then, I am Dan. This has been Void City Reviews. Thank you for watching.